I got started in filmmaking in junior high. I used to borrow my aunt and uncle's movie camera. And I'd go out and just shoot a bunch of goofy stuff and make some little films. And then when I got into high school, I took about seven semesters of filmmaking. And back then, I would get my friends together. And I used to make these little parody movies. I made some of different TV shows and movies. And then when I was in 11th grade, I wrote and directed a little movie called Kiss and the Mad Scientist, which was about 20 minutes long. And my friends and I played Kiss, the rock band, as superheroes. After I got out of high school, I decided to go to college and actually started out taking architectural drafting. And when I found out it was going to take about five years to get my degree in that, I decided to hang that up pretty quick because I wanted to do something in the entertainment field. And I kept busy in that, eventually put a band together, and couldn't find people that were as dedicated as me to keep it going and really push to take it somewhere. So after a few years, that kind of fell apart, and I ended up getting back into the video and film production. The thing that got me back into doing video was when my son was in fifth grade, he was in a play, and I actually did the backgrounds and stuff for it. So I decided to go down and tape it. And I taped all the rehearsals and the actual times that they did it. Took that footage and edited together a nice little play. And I, that's all I used was my VCR and my video camera and had to edit it like that. And I threw some titles on with my title maker. And um, it turned out really good. I ended up giving that to a friend of mine. It was actually my old music theory teacher who was an Access producer to air on Access and eventually found out how to become a producer and be able to do my own shows. The shows I've produced for public access are Trivia Quest, which was basically just trivia questions that came up on the screen that was done with the title maker and had a little bit of uh, background music. Um, I did another show called Rock Candy Sound Bites, which was basically radio on TV to where I would play songs from different bands and kind of give a little review on their CDs and update people on what was going on with that band. And I also did another show called Music Vision, which was just leftover music videos I had. And it was just the back-to-back -back half hour of music videos. Um, I no longer produce those because I don't have the time. I did another show called Rock Talk, which lasted about three years. It was a live music call-in show. And people would call in and talk to me, ask questions about um, different bands. And I eventually gave that up after three years because of some technical problems we were having with other producers and equipment down at Access. And right now I'm just producing Rock Candy. I've been producing Rock Candy for about five and a half years now, and right now we're on the set for our 2001 Halloween special, which we're taping right now. Um, I, when I started the show out, I got certified as a producer for public access and started writing to record companies to get videos from them to be able to air on the show. And only two companies actually got back to me right away, and I had several letters just returned unopened. And I really pushed to try and get the show going for about six months and had just very little response. It was getting close to the holidays, so I put everything aside for a while. After the first year, I started contacting the record companies again, and this time I got a lot more response. And eventually, I ended up getting my first interview even before we had the show on the air, and that was with Great White. And once I got that, that really gave the show some legitimacy. and. Since then, I've been able to get a great reputation going with some record companies, uh, different bands and artists. I've been able to interview several of them. And we've been able to tape the show all over northern, southern California, um, and Nevada, and right here in our studio. Rock Candy takes up quite a bit of my time. Um, every episode from start to finish has a lot that goes into the production, from deciding which videos need to be used, contacting record companies, setting up interviews, if we're doing something a little more elaborate, like our Halloween show, then there's uh, the set design and construction. And also, we have a regular, part of our regular set right here for doing cutaways when we're in the studio. And all of that um, takes a lot of time and work. And unfortunately, I have to work a regular job to be able to pay the bills and stuff. And I just recently started my own business doing uh, video duplication and graphic design. And I'm working on putting my own editing system together at home so I can do all the post-production work for Rock Candy right at home. And then eventually I'd like to be able to do production work for people as far as um, actually videotaping, doing the whole bit, editing, everything like that. And um, 
hopefully down the line, i'll be able to get into acting or hosting something as a career.